The rhythmic sound of voices joined in unison fills the air, creating a palpable energy that seems to vibrate through the room. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, the group chants, their voices rising and falling in a harmonious cadence. This scene, replicated in homes, community centers, and temples around the world, raises an important question. Is it beneficial to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo in a group setting? To answer this question, we must delve into the heart of Nichiren Buddhist practice and explore the multifaceted benefits of group chanting. The practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, also known as Dai Moku, is central to Nichiren Buddhism. While individual practice is crucial, there's a unique power in coming together with others to chant. Nichiren Daishonin established this practice, emphasized the importance of unity among practitioners. In one of his writings, he states, when the spirit of many people becomes one, they can achieve anything they wish for. This sentiment speaks directly to the potential benefits of group chanting. One of the primary advantages of chanting in a group is the sense of community it fosters. In today's increasingly disconnected world, finding spaces where people can come together with a shared purpose is invaluable. When individuals gather to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, they're not just reciting words, they're creating a collective energy that can be profoundly uplifting. This shared experience can lead to a deepened sense of belonging and support. Many practitioners report feeling a stronger connection to their faith and to their fellow practitioners when they chant in a group. This connection can be particularly beneficial for those who may be struggling with personal challenges or feeling isolated in their daily lives. Moreover, group chanting can serve as a powerful motivator for individual practice. Daisaku Ikeda, a prominent Nichiren Buddhist leader, once wrote, When we chant together, we inspire each other to strengthen our practice and deepen our faith. The enthusiasm and dedication of others can encourage us to maintain our own practice, even when we might feel discouraged or unmotivated. The collective energy generated during group chanting can also amplify the effects of the practice. Many practitioners describe feeling a heightened sense of focus and clarity when chanting with others. This intensified concentration can lead to deeper insights and a more profound connection to the essence of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Nichiren Daishonin often used the analogy of a single arrow versus a bundle of arrows to illustrate the strength that comes from unity. He wrote, When logs are tied together, they form a strong raft, but if they are separated, they will be washed away by the current. In the same way, when practitioners come together to chant, their individual efforts are strengthened and amplified. This collective strength can be particularly beneficial when facing challenges or working towards shared goals. Many Nichiren Buddhist groups engage in what's known as United Prayer, or Collective Dai Moku, where they chant together with a specific intention in mind. This practice is based on the belief that the combined faith and determination of many individuals can create powerful positive change. It's important to note that the benefits of group chanting don't negate the importance of individual practice. Regular personal chanting remains a cornerstone of Nichiren Buddhist practice. The group experience should complement and enhance one's individual efforts, not replace them. Another significant benefit of group chanting is the opportunity for learning and growth it provides. In many group settings, chanting is followed by study and discussion of Buddhist principles. This communal learning environment allows practitioners to deepen their understanding of the practice and its philosophical underpinnings. Jose Toda emphasized the importance of this aspect of group practice. He said, Faith, practice, and study are the three pillars of Nichiren Buddhism. When we come together, we strengthen all three. The group setting also provides opportunities for more experienced practitioners to guide and support newcomers. This mentorship aspect can be invaluable for those just beginning their Buddhist practice. Hearing others share their experiences and insights can provide encouragement and practical guidance for navigating the challenges that often arise in spiritual practice. Furthermore, group chanting can serve as a powerful tool for personal transformation. Many practitioners report experiencing breakthroughs in their lives after participating in group chanting sessions. 
These breakthroughs can range from overcoming personal obstacles to finding new directions in life. Nichiren Daishonin wrote, When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we tap into the fundamental rhythm of the universe. In a group setting, this rhythm becomes more palpable, creating an environment conducive to profound inner change. The collective energy can help individuals break through mental barriers and access deeper levels of wisdom and compassion within themselves. It's worth noting that the benefits of group chanting extend beyond the spiritual realm. Many studies have shown that group activities involving rhythmic vocalization can have positive effects on physical and mental health. These benefits include reduced stress, improved mood, and even enhanced immune function. While these scientific findings weren't available in Nichiren's time, they align with his teachings about the holistic benefits of chanting practice. He often emphasized that the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo could lead to improvements in all aspects of life, from physical health to relationships and career success. However, it's important to approach group chanting with the right mindset. The practice shouldn't be seen as a magical solution to life's problems, but rather as a tool for personal growth and spiritual development. Nichiren warned against treating the practice superficially emphasizing the importance of sincere faith and effort. He wrote, The heart of the Buddha's lifetime of teachings is the Lotus Sutra, and the heart of the practice of the Lotus Sutra is found in the phrase Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This statement underscores the profound nature of the practice and the importance of approaching it with genuine commitment, whether practicing alone or in a group. While group chanting offers many benefits, it's also important to acknowledge that some individuals may find it challenging. For introverts or those who prefer solitary spiritual practice, the idea of chanting in a group might feel uncomfortable or overwhelming at first. It's crucial to remember that there's no one-size-fits-all approach to spiritual practice, and individuals should feel empowered to engage in ways that feel authentic and meaningful to them. That said, Many practitioners who initially felt hesitant about group chanting report that the experience became more comfortable and rewarding over time. The key is to approach it with an open mind and to remember that everyone in the group is there with the shared intention of personal and spiritual growth. While individual practice remains fundamental, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo in a group setting offers numerous benefits. From fostering a sense of community and providing mutual support to amplifying the effects of the practice and creating opportunities for learning and growth, group chanting can be a powerful tool for spiritual development. Nichiren Daishonin's teachings consistently emphasize the importance of unity and shared purpose among practitioners. By coming together to chant, we not only strengthen our own practice but also contribute to a collective energy that has the potential to create positive change in the world. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, the practice of group chanting offers a space for connection, reflection, and transformation. It reminds us that while our spiritual journey is ultimately personal, we don't have to walk the path alone. In the rhythmic chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we find not just individual empowerment, but the strength and wisdom that comes from true unity of purpose. Whether you're a seasoned practitioner or new to Nichiren Buddhism, consider exploring the experience of group chanting. You may find that it adds a new dimension to your practice, deepening your understanding and strengthening your commitment to your spiritual path. Remember, as Nichiren taught, when our spirits become one, everything is possible. In the shared practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we tap into this profound truth, unlocking the potential for personal and collective transformation. As we delve deeper into the benefits of group chanting, it's important to consider its role in creating a sense of global community among practitioners. In today's interconnected world, the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo in groups extends far beyond local gatherings. It creates a web of shared intention and purpose that spans continents and cultures. Daisaku Ikeda once remarked, when we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo together, we are connecting with Buddhists around the world who are engaged in the same practice at that very moment. This perspective highlights the unique way in which group chanting can foster a sense of global unity and shared purpose. 
The power of this global connection becomes particularly evident during large-scale events or coordinated chanting sessions. For instance, many Nichiren Buddhist organizations hold annual gatherings where thousands of practitioners come together to chant. These events often include participants from various countries, creating a powerful demonstration of unity in diversity. One practitioner described her experience at such an event. As I chanted with thousands of others, I felt a profound sense of connection not just to those around me, but to all those practicing around the world. It was as if I could feel the vibration of our shared intention circling the globe. This sense of global connection can be especially meaningful in times of crisis or challenge. When natural disasters or global conflicts occur, many Nichiren Buddhist groups organize collective chanting sessions focused on peace and recovery. These sessions allow practitioners to feel that they are actively contributing to positive change, even from a distance. Nichiren himself emphasized the far-reaching effects of sincere prayer and practice. He wrote, When one person chants Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with deep faith, the sound of that chanting reaches throughout the universe. In a group setting, this effect is magnified, creating what some describe as a ripple effect of positive energy. However, it's crucial to maintain a balanced perspective on the power of group chanting. While the practice can indeed create powerful experiences and foster a sense of global community, it should not be seen as a substitute for concrete action in the world. Many Nichiren Buddhist leaders emphasize that the purpose of practice is to inspire and empower individuals to make positive changes in their lives and communities. As Nichiren wrote, the purpose of Buddhism is to enable people to become happy and to make society better. Group chanting should therefore be seen as a catalyst for action, not an end in itself. Many practitioners report that the energy and inspiration they gain from group chanting sessions motivate them to engage more actively in their communities, whether through volunteer work, social activism, or simply being more compassionate in their daily interactions. Another important aspect of group chanting is its potential to bridge cultural and social divides. In many parts of the world, Nichiren Buddhist groups bring together people from diverse backgrounds who might not otherwise interact. Through the shared practice of chanting, these individuals often discover common ground and develop meaningful relationships that transcend surface-level differences. One practitioner shared, when we're chanting together, it doesn't matter where we're from or what we do for a living. In that moment, we're all united in our shared practice and intention. This experience of unity can have profound effects, challenging preconceived notions and fostering greater understanding and empathy. It's worth noting that the benefits of group chanting aren't limited to formal gatherings in religious settings. Many practitioners find value in organizing small chanting groups in their homes or workplaces. These informal gatherings can provide regular support and encouragement, helping individuals maintain their practice amidst the demands of daily life. Nichiren encouraged this kind of grassroots practice, emphasizing the importance of creating a network of support among practitioners. He wrote, Even if you live alone, you are never truly alone in your faith when you are connected to fellow practitioners. As we conclude our exploration of group chanting, it's clear that this practice offers a multitude of benefits. From fostering a sense of community and amplifying individual practice to creating global connections and inspiring social action, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo in a group setting can be a powerful tool for personal and collective transformation. However, it's important to remember that the true essence of the practice lies not in the number of people chanting or the volume of their voices, but in the sincerity of each individual's faith and intention. As Nichiren taught, the voice does the Buddha's work. Whether chanting alone or in a group, it is the heart behind the chanting that gives it its power. In the end, the decision to engage in group chanting is a personal one. Some may find it to be an essential part of their practice, while others may prefer to focus on individual chanting. What matters most is that each person finds a way to engage with the practice that feels authentic and meaningful to them. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, whether individually or in a group, offers a powerful means of connecting with our innate wisdom and compassion. 
it reminds us of our interconnectedness and our potential to create positive change in the world. In the words of Nichiren Daishonin, when we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we call forth the ultimate truth of life in all its profound and subtle manifestations.